In this video, we're going to be talking about James Charles abusing his fans. He's been accused of grooming and pedophilia recently by a 16-year-old fan named Isaiah. Keep in mind that James Charles has been accused of this crime multiple times by underage fans. Basically, this situation can't be dismissed as an accident or a mistake. First, I'm going to talk about the victim's video. So last Wednesday on the 17th, uh, James Charles snapped me on Snapchat. He added me back because I had snapped him a while ago, just like a fan to influence your conversation. Isaiah says in the video that he did message James Charles first, but that was a long time ago as a fan. And then he shows screenshots that James Charles Snapchatted him first. This is the notification that I got when he Snapchatted me first. And just for further proof, he deleted the chat. I don't know what he deleted, but that's me opening his Snapchat. I went into the bathroom and I guess he saw the bathroom light. So he started making the conversation very sexual and it made me really uncomfortable. Then he said James was making the conversation sexual and asked him to send nudes and lewd photos to him. In the second video, he shows the pictures that James sent him. So this is part two of the James Charles story. So after sending me that first picture of his body, um, explicitly he sent me multiple after that and I'll post them now. I was getting really uncomfortable so I told him my age. I told him I'm 16. Meanwhile, he's 21. He's a grown man. And then he proceeds to say, oh, but I didn't even get to see the, yeah, meaning my body. Isaiah says that he was uncomfortable and told James that he was 16. And James replied by saying, oh, but I didn't get to see the thing yet. And we all know what that is, I think. And after telling him, like, no, like, I'm not going to send it to you, he kept on asking for pictures and videos of body hair and me flexing and stuff. That information right there proves that James knew he was wrong, but he didn't stop and he continued to ask for more pictures and even tried to FaceTime Isaiah. Then Isaiah provides a screenshot showing that James asked to FaceTime him and gave his explanation on why he wanted to FaceTime him. He proceeded to ask to FaceTime me, which I then said no to, and then I asked why, and this is what he said. It's sad to say that I can't even look up my biggest influence the same again. I've heard multiple stories about him doing this to people, but you never, believe it until it happens to you. The proof is undeniable. If you're a James Charles stan and you don't believe Isaiah's story, Isaiah still provided screenshots to show James sent pictures to an underage person, which is a crime. Now I'm gonna talk about James Charles' apology. But first, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I encourage you guys to go watch my other videos. You may find them interesting and it would help my channel out so much. Now back to the video. Trigger warning, grooming and pedophilia. There's a video going around about me on TikTok and Twitter of a guy calling me a groomer and I wanna address it right away. The accusation that I have groomed this person is completely false. Last week, I came across someone on my Instagram Explore page, saw he followed me, and added him on Snapchat. To start with, in James' apology, he already admitted that he approached Isaiah first. James added him on Snapchat, and as a fan, of course you would be excited to talk to your favorite influencer. The next morning, I wake up to several snaps from this person, being excited I added him back saying he loved me and also lewd photos of himself in the shower. I asked how old he was right away and he told me he was 18 so I started flirting back. Flirting back obviously means sending pictures. He says he was flirting back after Isaiah sent lewd photos, but Isaiah already dismissed this with a screenshot showing James snapchatted him first. In the excitement of meeting someone I thought could be potentially great, I didn't ask for a copy of his ID or passport. It's now clear based on the video he uploaded, he was taking photos of me with another device and had an ulterior motive from the beginning. Then he says Isaiah had ulterior motives basically to cancel him. James did the action of adding Isaiah on Snapchat and following him. So how does Isaiah have ulterior motives when you're the one that followed him first? It's not like he's waiting around for you to follow him and add him so that he can cancel you. Later in the day, he said a few things that made me question the validity of his original age answer. And when I asked him to confirm his age once again, he admitted he was 16. I told him I was really uncomfortable and apologized for flirting. But he insisted on continuing talking, saying it could be our little secret. He's a fan of mine and would never tell anyone. I told him I wasn't okay with this. He started getting upset and at this point I unfriended him. We haven't spoken since, I'm not victim blaming or victimizing myself either. Simply sharing what happened and what happened was not okay. As a 16 year old, it is not his job to let James know how old he is. It is the adult's job to find out the age of the person they're talking to. Especially when James has been accused of committing this crime multiple times. After false allegations like this in the past, 
I would never knowingly engage with anyone underage or put my life on the line for a few Snapchats. Because of situations like this, instead of taking someone's word for it, I would now ask to see the ID or passport of every guy I have a conversation with. This is not a false allegation. There's pictures to prove that James sent nudes to Isaiah and also asked Isaiah for nudes back. So he already dismissed that this is a false allegation. The first time a situation like this happens, yeah, you can say I'll ask for an ID next time and whatever. But when this has been a multiple occurrence, that's no longer a mistake. That's a choice. Maybe the first time, but you have to let James be wrong and learn from it. Or it'll probably happen again. He has so much going for him and he does this to himself. Thank you guys for watching my video. Let me know what news you guys want to hear about next week. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also like and comment on the video and let me know what you guys think about this situation. You think Isaiah is clout chasing, you think he's wrong, or maybe we just let James Charles pass too many times. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bop. Press the link, put your things to the side. Check it out, better like and subscribe. New video for your entertainment. They just blowing up, you can't contain it.